A simple proof is provided in this video for tree set principle of inclusion exclusion, uh, which is basically trying to show that the number of elements or cardinality of the union of tree sets is equal to what? So that's the plan. Uh, we are trying to find number of elements in the union of tree sets A, B, C as shown here, basically inside this uh, limit that is shown. So I'm going to use a quick way. So let's use the associative property of the union operation of the sets. So I can associate a union B like this and first deal with that. So using associative property, then I'm going to use the uh, two set principle of inclusion exclusion, which basically says X union Y cardinality of that or number of element is equal to cardinality of the first set X plus the cardinality of the second set y minus to, uh, to get rid of the over, uh, over counting or double counting minus the intersection of the two sets. So this is a given. This is already known. I'm going to use this for the scenario I have here. So as I said, I'm associating A union B and I'm going to write therefore this whole thing as, um, so think of this A union B as x and this C as Y. If you think about it that way, then we can apply this formula, which is for the two-set principle of inclusion exclusion or pi. So I'm going to write union, uh, cardinality of A union B, which is X, plus cardinality of C, which is Y, minus cardinality of A union B, which is X, and then I need to do intersect with Y intersect with C. Okay, so that's based on just the two set pi. Now let's further expand. This is another instance of, uh, similar to this two set pi, I can use the same thing there. So equal to using again two set principle of inclusion exclusion, cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus cardinality of A intersect B. That is a substitution for just this first one. And of course, I can keep the second, the, the second component there. So cardinality or number of element in set C. So that is kept. Now for the last one, I can go ahead with another instance of... Uh, so, so in this one, first thing to do is we're going to distribute intersect C here. So we're going to use distributive property. So distribute intersect C into the union of or over the union of A and B. So if you do that, just rewriting that thing will become A intersect C. So that's the first one. And then union. And of course, we get B intersect C. Okay, so now we have to deal with this one. And you can think of it here as... Uh, we have x and then union y. So it, it goes back to another instance of this guy, an expansion of that using the two set pi like this. So let's do it. Equal to keep these guys, but let's uh, just make it nicer. So put plus c right beside these guys and uh, keep minus cardinality of a intersect b, which is the basically number of elements in the intersect of a and b, or it means here just to visualize what that means. So this one means all this stuff that is here. Okay, number of things that are there. So now expanding the other one, and let's not forget there is a negative sign. So negative. So I get union of x, which means, sorry, uh, it means the cardinality of x, but there is a negative sign behind, so it becomes negative cardinality of A intersect C. Okay, then I get plus cardinality of Y, but there is negative sign behind, so it becomes minus cardinality of B intersect C. Okay, the last thing, minus, but there is a negative sign behind as well, so negative negative becomes positive, and then we have A intersect C, and then we have intersect B intersect C cardinality. So let me clean up. So it become it becomes 
A intersect C, that's X, and then intersect like this one, substituting for X and Y, becomes B intersect C. Cardinality. Okay, so we are almost done. Uh, keep these guys as they are. So uh, cardinality or number of elements in A, cardinality or number of elements in B, cardinality or number of elements in C, minus cardinality of intersect of A and B, minus cardinality of intersect of A and C, minus cardinality of intersect of B and C, and finally plus. Of course here you can see that th there is only one uh, set operation going on. Intersect, intersect, intersect. So we're going to use the associative property, meaning that since it's only one operation, I can move things or, or the sets freely around. So, and as a result, you can see that we have intersect C. So I'm going to use a, a highlighter like this. Intersect C, and again intersect C. So it's repeated twice. I mean, it doesn't make a difference if you repeat it once or twice in terms of operations. So we can do A, intersect B, and just one time write intersect C. And that's it. This is the end of what we needed to prove here. So uh, to prove, I just going to highlight this. The outcome, this is what we were looking for to get to uh, basically prove that this is the A union. B union C cardinality. So the size of all elements or number of elements that is that are inside uh, this whole thing, the number of elements that are inside this whole thing is related to number of elements in the highlighted areas according to this formula which is referred to as principle of inclusion exclusion. So principle of inclusion exclusion for three sets. That is extension. Basically, this formula is an extension of this principle of inclusion exclusion for two sets that is uh, already well known. So I hope that this direct proof is helpful in terms of showing how we can use um, combination of direct proof and the properties of sets and union and intersect to uh, prove the three set pi.